Hello everybody, you are watching Curious Puzzle, the channel from which you can learn at least a little bit from every single video that's on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, then make sure to do it now so you can, you know, get these notifications and stuff because today, in this video, I'm gonna make your day. And I'm gonna be making your day throughout 2021, so you don't wanna miss that. So click subscribe and let me talk about today's video. 2020 was a complete and total disaster. And many would say that 2021 kinda starts in the same style. But it wasn't all bad in 2020. You know, people are really good at spreading bad news. And I'm here now to spread some good news with you. So as I said, I'm here to make your day. So. Roll it, David! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are going to be giving you 10 very, very good news from the past 2020. The first... Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I am nowhere near jackets and blazers. Just not a fan. And I'm nowhere near seriousness. I'm all for the jolliness and if you have been here on that curious space for a while you already know that I am one of the most positive people you will ever meet in your life so roll again David good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to tonight's 10 easy peasy good news from 2020 how's that David happy you like it all right let's start with news number one in England, after the first lockdown, this is bothering me actually. Let's roll again, David. Uh, I'm just kidding. In England, after the first lockdown, about 4 million books were sold only the first week. What? That's nearly 33 million in sales, which is about 30% more than 2019. Well, if you, my dear watcher, like to read, I would like to recommend you a book. It's called How to Talk to Strangers. I heard people are saying good things about that book, so I'll leave a link in the description. News number two. IKEA published the recipe of their signature meatballs. <gasps> well, they did that because people were actually weren't able to go to IKEA to eat their delicious meatballs. And if you haven't tried those delicious meatballs, well, my dear friend, you should try it. You have two options. Go to IKEA or two. Now you can do it yourself. Actually, let's Google that, shall we? IKEA meatballs recipe. It comes up. IKEA shares recipe for Swedish meatballs to make during quarantine. Woohoo! What's that website? Today something. Well, here you go, my dear friend. Google it. Make the meatballs. Try them. Mm, come back to this video and leave a comment. News number three. The staff of a store in Japan started wearing masks with printed faces. Well, that makes sense. If I can't see your smile, maybe I can see your fake smile, right? Number four, probably my favorite one. Check this out. For the first time ever, renewable electricity exceeded fossil fuel generation during the first half of 2020. First time ever. Fossil fuels? Renewable electricity. Mmm, that sounds so good. News number five. The world's largest rooftop farm opened in Paris and is expected to produce around 1,000 kilograms of fruit and vegetables every single day. Makes me want to go to Paris. I heard bad things about Paris. It's getting dirtier. It's getting miserable. Now, I want to go and see that. Next one. Have you heard of Jay Flynn? Hmm, probably not. I didn't hear of Jay Flynn until I got the news. You're gonna get the news now. Jay was homeless in 2007. In 2020, 13 years later, he started hosting quiz shows, just like me. He raised 750,000 pounds for charity through his virtual pop quizzes and became a Guinness World Record holder for, watch this, most viewers on an online quiz from being homeless to Guinness World Record and raising thousands of pounds for charity. Hats off, Jay. Well done. Moving on. In February, Dublin became the first capital city in the world to have zero emissions postal service. Plans are to roll out the scheme across all cities in Ireland by the end of the year. Whoa, 
we are in the next year. I wonder if that happened. Check this out, it's coming out. Avoiding 450 tons of CO2. I don't know how much is that of CO2, but if it's tons, it's a lot. Okay, I don't know if the whole country, but surely they're making steps forward to that. Otherwise, it will be false advertising, right? Google has launched a new hum to speech feature allowing you to whistle, sing, or hum to discover a song. Well, this is something we have to try. Where's my phone? The way to do that, you just go on Google, and then you say, what's the song? Benny King, you're right. Very, very well done, Google. Mwah. Let's try whistling. What's the song? <laughs> Macarena. Oh, my dear God. Well done, Google. Well done. Moving on. Next one. In order to reduce chronic traffic congestion, Luxembourg has set out plans to make public transport free of charge. Now, this is great news. Basically, you can travel for free in the city of Luxembourg. And here is a curious fact. If you are following the Curious Pablo podcast sessions, you already know that because I met you with Milda, met you online through the podcast, who shared this news with us. If you're not following, oh man, Travel remotely with local guys from around the world. Link in the description. Moving on. The city, oh, that's the last one. The city of Vienna has launched an app. When you walk, cycle, or take public transportation, the app records how much CO2 you save by not using your car. When you get to 20 kilograms, you get a token that you can use in museums and other venues. This is a fabulous, news and I upload it and what's more interesting is that even if you are not local even if you travel to the city you can still use the app and you can still get a token for places well with that news we're closing with 10 good no, no, 10 great news from 2020 and if you think 2020 was crap well think again you can think it's crap you can think it's great however you make it Thanks so much for joining for tonight's episode. Probably the one and only, the only episode. But if you want to see something, just tell me what you want to see. I'm happy to do it. Thanks so much. Subscribe here. Watch more here. And I'll see you in the next video.